Hey everyone, welcome back to Automate with Amit. And due to your response on my previous videos where we are covering artificial intelligence and AI tools in automation testing, in this video, we are going to cover what is the role of AI tools or what are different tasks which we can perform using these new upcoming AI tools. And if you are new to the channel, please make sure to subscribe this channel because I am going to share very informative and useful content related to AI tools in automation testing in my upcoming videos as well. Okay, so we are going to discuss what is the role of AI in software testing, right? So in this video, we are going to cover number one, what AI can help us in automation testing. Second, different areas of automation testing in which AI can help and benefits of AI in general in automation domain. And last, most popular AI tools in automation testing. So this video is going to be super useful. So make sure you watch it till the end. Now, before we begin, just a quick basics of AI. We all know that uh, artificial intelligence is nothing but, uh, you know, uh, simulation of human intelligence via machines. So we are just mimicking human intelligence via code and machines, right? So for that, we are training programs or machines with enormous volumes of data and with that data it can recognize patterns right so when it recognizes the pattern it can learn it can adapt to the new information also if any new information comes based on the previous patterns previous uh, you know volume of data through which it has been trained it can take decisions on the on the basis of all the cognitive abilities and uh, you know whatever we have provided the data and patterns and all of those things because of that it is going to take the decisions based on that so in test automation if uh, we talk about it specifically ai can be game changer because it is going to assist qa teams to be more productive and qa teams can be uh, deployed to do even more advanced and uh, more complicated tasks Right. So with the complications, this was one of the survey which was conducted by McKinsey company. And in here, if you see, this is the, the blue one, dark blue one is the code without generative AI, how much, uh, you know, time it takes to complete certain tasks. So code documentation and with the help of AI, this is the uh, lighter blue one is using generative AI or AI tools, uh, how much time it takes. So nearly we see 50%, 45%, 20 to 30% and less than 10% time reduction in completing all these type of tasks. So code documentation, code generation, code uh, refactoring and high complexity tasks for high complexity tasks, generative AI can help with less than 10% of time, right? So still generative AI can help with lot many things, but for complex tasks with the help of AI tools, human can reduce their times. So now first thing, what we can do with AI tools, basically faster test script generation. So in this, basically we can jump start the first draft of new code. If we wanted to write code from start, we can use chat GPT kind of tools, which can give you ready-made code and you have to tweak those code snippet for your use case, right? So that's what here first draft of new code can be provided by generative AI tools, new methods generation uh, using input and output values. So this I have used in my personal project also, and uh, I, I use this way of test script generation or code generation basically so what i do so i need this output and based on what inputs i need the output i give input and output and i need some method in certain language maybe java or python so based on that generative ai tool like chat gpt can give me the test script which or you know code snippet which i can use in my test script so that is the second use case which we can use automate complete scenario using AI tools or low code tools in a fraction of seconds. So there are so many AI tools now in market, which I am going to tell at the last. So make sure you are staying till the last because 
the last one is related to the ai tools in the market okay so using many ai tools we can complete the whole automation scenario in fraction of seconds so that is going to be super awesome and super fast second thing is test data generation so these tools can generate test data based on the project specifications or source codes so if we provide the source code or project specification right we have uh, requirement documents and all those things so based on that if we provide uh, all these inputs then it can generate test data for us which we can use further in our test cases to validate certain features so creating possible combination also if uh, it can generate data we can ask ai tools to generate possible combination of data on based, uh, based on previously collected data sets so that could be another uh, possible way of uh, use for data generation in using ai tools testers can use uh, ai or ml to scan through large code bases so if we provide the whole bunch of uh, you know repository or something uh, if we can give of course it comes with the uh, certain risk so if companies can uh, work on making their own way uh, where uh, their data is also secure um, uh, you know the, that can help them to scan the whole code bases and understanding the context so that they can generate the test data based on the um, based on the code basis fourth thing could be you know automation may probe more in depth areas for testing than manual testers can so it can look for more uh, in depth areas for testing so it can generate data uh, generate test data and eventually it can help to find out areas in which are based on the certain combination and permutations it can give those areas or more in-depth perspective which can help manual testers to perform the testing in more in-depth way right the third thing could be intelligent test execution so how we are executing our, our test cases so what happens generally if we have to perform regression testing even developers have done only a small tweak we execute all bunch of regression test cases which may take around more than uh, you know hours and hours of uh, time and it can it can take a uh, lot many resources lot of efforts and all those things to verify those things right how about if we get to know what are the affected areas due to the changes made by developers and only you know those areas if we regress that way we will be able to understand if there are any certain issues or, no, or not so ai tools can recommend us what are different areas where we need to verify the changes again and that is going to help us to reduce our efforts time and complexity also right so that could be uh, intelligent test execution which is going to help by ai tools so also ai can help you increase the overall depth and scope of tests resulting in the overall improvement of software quality so these are some of the ideas which uh, you know intel uh, these uh, ai tools can help you with you can you can work on creating such things such use cases using ai different ai tools or uh, different models which are available uh, uh, right now you can use those things to to implement these use cases for your company but uh, there are certain ai tools also which help you to achieve these things last thing could be ai can choose right set of tests to be run on uh, for the application changes to provide a good test coverage with optimized testing efforts that is not possible with just automation testing so sometimes what happens automation testers what they do they execute all the tests available but what if we don't have coverage for those areas where the changes may impact so in that case we leave those changes and areas and move ahead with whatever coverage we have available right so we can ai can help on those uh, 
uh, front also where it can suggest you what could be the good test coverage and where we need to increase the coverage all those things so that we can optimize testing efforts also and uh, which most of the time may not be possible smarter test maintenance for any automation testers this is such a pain to maintain all those test cases right so for that ai in test automation allows tests to be auto corrected so nowadays you know so many ai tools are there which can correct uh, the failures for you automatically it can assess where are the changes happening in the application and based on that or uh, where exactly the tests are failing what is the reason and it can auto correct them themselves so again there are some extent uh, which uh, which it can correct but again uh, it requires human intervention to identify whether that particular issue is with test cases or really there is an issue so you have to make an analysis that's what i told in my previous uh, video where i had discussed that what humans can do and what ai cannot do so if you haven't watched that particular video please go and watch that video as well after watching this and now next one is ai driven test automation can manage repetitive tasks to meet the continuous delivery demands for increased productivity so what does this mean ai driven so if you are using ai driven test automation it can manage repetitive tasks to meet the continuous delivery uh, demands for increased productivity so again if there are some pattern observed and it can uh, identify those patterns why it is again and again happening why tests are failing again and again so it can give you insight that out of 100 execution for 10 times this test has failed this at this point and that is going to give you data points and eventually you can uh, make that decision how to test and when to test or when to correct that particular uh, test script right so that can help you with test maintenance as well so ai is well suited for regression testing to compare the results trend to identify and fix affected areas so that the testers can work on them again see again uh, if again and again tests are failing uh, it can compare the result trend and it can give you the trend and most probability of the feature to fail or uh, most probability of the area of application where you can get the defects so that you can more focus on those areas which can help you to uh, identify the defects more faster right so and eventually if there are some areas in which there are changes happening and your tests are failing because of that you can go and identify i mean ai tools can help you identify that uh, area and pattern and eventually you can fix those affected areas right so now fifth part is root cause analysis so if anything is happening again and again so what is the uh, you know root cause of this why is that happening what we can uh, ai tools can suggest you also uh, what different things you can uh, take or different actions you can take to uh, fix those things or to improve the quality better in the future so ai or ml may also identify critical issues for the test coverage that would otherwise escape human inspection second thing could be ai not only makes testing faster but also improves the quality by processing huge amounts of data at a time to identify similar error trends and identify anomalies okay so basically it can identify you the errors or similar type of errors which are happening again and again and eventually it can find you the root cause of the failures also now coming back to the most important part of this what are the benefits of ai testing tools now if you test uh, using ai tools nowadays there are so many ai testing tools are coming in the market so ai to testing tools basically offer teams several benefits including it can essentially becoming an assistance right assistant for decision making so it can give you some data points it can give you some analysis already prepared so that you can take the decision right so 
again with this all these things you know uh, which is going to help you with analysis which is going to help you decision making with all of this it is going to accelerate many testing processes right so most imp importantly test cases and test script generation so it is going to eventually really uh, shorten the release cycle you can uh, test faster product can be released faster and it is going to be really uh, reduce the time to market right so again the last thing could be improving test coverage with instant and customized test data generation now the last part is what are different ai tools for any automation testers in the market right now number one is test team second is test sigma third is test rigor mabel functionize ui path apply tools so if you have heard any of these ai tools or if you are using any of these ai tools in your company do comment in the comment box and and also mention what are different scenarios you are automating using these ai tools in your company okay so please make sure to drop a comment that way it is going to help all of us and we will learn together and grow together okay so if you haven't seen my previous video where i have talked about what are different tasks which human need to be doing and ai cannot help you with that or ai cannot replace you for that so do check out that particular video it is going to help you to build a better uh, perspective and also it is going to remove the fear that ai can replace you from the market right so you have to make sure you are doing the creative task the more critical task in your company that way it is going to give you confidence that ai is not going to replace you with that if you haven't subscribed my channel please make sure to subscribe because i am going to release more videos on ai tools in automation testing and it is going to be super informative for you all so please make sure to subscribe this uh, channel and share this video to your friends and colleagues with that Amit Tripathi signing off.